Welcome to Composet Products, LLC. This is a video on RV wall, ceiling, and floor delamination. Typical delamination happens in the plywood used to build the walls of the RV. The plywood is not moisture resistant, and when water gets in the walls, it dissolves the glue in the layers of the plywood, and the plywood begins to separate. In this example, we can see the extreme case of delamination where there's still a thin layer of wood attached to the fiberglass, but the layers of plywood have fully separated. Delamination can be spotted by looking for a bubbling effect on the siding. This bubbling effect will vary depending on whether the sun is on the sidewall and the temperature outside. The fiberglass can now grow and expand and then shrink due to thermal cycling, which further increases the delamination problems. The best fix for delamination is to replace the entire wall, roof, or floor. However, that's not always a practical answer for many people, so there are kits that are used to repair delamination that have varying degrees of success, generally based on the size and amount of delamination, as well as your skill level in initiating a repair process. Composite Products LLC exists to help do-it-yourselfers and RV shops make repairs to delaminated plywood using our proprietary and trademarked Composet SLV and Composet CompoBond epoxy resin products. Besides the typical closed wall application, there's a second circumstance that we also deal with in delamination in what we term as the open wall, where the fiberglass and plywood have pulled away from the backing and the wall is open, where an injectable material is too thin for the application. In this case, we have our Composet CompoBond trademark and proprietary resin system that is quite a bit thicker than the Composet SLV. The Composet Compo Bond can be applied with a brush, roller, or a trowel, and typically these items are included with the Compo Bond kits. This product can be injected to a limited degree, so our larger Compo Bond kits do include some injection syringes that allow you to pump some resin in a short distance into the wall. The material is fairly thick and it will fill up to an eighth of an inch void intermittently. This makes the compo bond ideal for reworking old plywood as well as new builds where you're installing new fiberglass over new plywood. The base compo bond kit comes with 1.25 quarts of the compo bond resin the mixing tools, application tools, and a trowel which is gauged correctly for the uh, coverage rate. The next kit is 2.5 quarts of resin with similar tools. Then we have the uh, 2.5 kit plus with the rollers and additional application tools, stepping it up to the 3.75 quart kit, which includes uh, three times the resin as the base kit. And then we have the 3.75 plus kit, which includes a large roller and more tools, including some injection items. Following that, we have a two gallon batching kit, which includes some basic tools, or in the plus version, a much larger selection of application tools. That's the 2.2 gallon plus kit. In summary, the Composet SLV in the RV delamination repair kits are for the closed wall applications, and the Composet CompoBond products are for the open wall situations. The best defense against delamination is caulking and sealing. It's a critical part of maintaining your RV, and that's where the problems begin. If you do get to the point where you're doing some delamination repair, please consider Composet Products LLC as your go-to source for information and solutions. Thanks.